So lately I've just come across a crazy ton of videos here on TikTok of people talking about COVID, people talking about the COVID numbers, people talking about the vaccine for and against the vaccine, all sorts of things filled with a ton of misinformation and frankly it's gotten super annoying. So I want to counter that and use my unique position, someone that has a medical doctorate degree, someone that has evolved in their career to then focus on data and algorithms and modeling and statistics to then become an algorithmic trader. All this gives me access to a crazy ton of data and I just wanted to help make sense of it the way I understand it. I want to compare COVID to car accidents and see if this resonates with you. Again, I'm not looking to politicize this topic. It is a very touchy subject, so take the data for what I'm presenting and if you want to ignore it, be my guest. But with that said, let's take a look at what I'm seeing. For this model, we're going to first start with our total baseline population, which is a 330 million people, of which roughly 42 million people have already had COVID of which 678,000 people have died. And therefore, just with this data, we could say that one in eight people got COVID from the general population, which is of that 330 million, and one in 487 people died from COVID. And for the people that got COVID, one in 62 people ended up dying. Now let's compare this with car accidents. We start with the same baseline of 330 million people in the US, of which 6 million car accidents happen every year, of which 40,206 people end up dying. From these numbers, we could say that there's a one in 55 chance of someone getting into a car accident for a given year, or there is a one in 8,207 chance of someone dying in a car accident for a given year which then further breaks down into there is a 1 in 149 chance of a person that was in a car accident to end up dead. And now just comparing car accidents to COVID, we could say COVID diagnosis is seven times more common than incidents of a car accident. And we could say that COVID is 17 times more deadly or fatal than our car accident. Now looking at the vaccine data, we could say there's 176 million people that are fully vaccinated, but we can't properly get data of people that still got COVID after being vaccinated because most of them would probably have light symptoms, which would go underreported significantly. But what we do know is that there has been breakthrough cases, which just means that a person was hospitalized or even died after being fully vaccinated. And so far, those have been reported at 14,115 people. So if we take the number of people that are fully vaccinated and then dying off of COVID, we get that there is a 1 in 12,469 chance of a person dying from COVID even after getting the vaccine. So that number is great because without the vaccine, we were dying at a rate of 1 in 487 people died from COVID from the general population as we saw up here. Now let's quickly look at unvaccinated people. We know from the CDC that unvaccinated people are 11 times more likely to die from COVID than vaccinated people. So that gives us 1 in and 1,134 odds of dying from COVID if you're unvaccinated. So these numbers did get better in comparison to 1 in 487 people dying from COVID from the general population to now it's 1,134. This odds having improved is thanks to masks, social distancing, herd immunity. Others have gotten vaccinated and limited gatherings, but those odds are nothing in comparison to being 1 in 12,469 chance of dying from COVID even after getting the vaccine. So those odds are much, much better. Now lastly, I would like to compare driving laws and regulations to that of COVID. As we saw that COVID is 17 times more deadly and fatal than a car accident, so wouldn't it make sense for there to be more laws and regulations when it comes to COVID than we do driving? Now, as we know, to drive, you need a driver's license, you need to obey traffic laws and traffic lights, you need to wear a seatbelt, speeding limit laws, share the road laws, and yield to pedestrian laws. All of these things makes you a safer driver, not for yourself, but also for others. So isn't it not the same if you're requiring a driver's license, it's equals to a COVID passport? Traffic lights is equal to social distancing, seat belts equal to masks, speed limits equal to limited gatherings, share the road laws equal to vaccines, yield to pedestrian laws similar to herd immunity. All of these things not only will protect you, but also will protect others from a deadly disease that's 17 times more deadly than a car accident. Have a think about that. Now, if you still don't think the vaccines are for you, ask yourself this one question. What would you do if you encountered a person that didn't follow any of the driving laws and regulations we just talked about that's not only meant to protect them, but also to protect you? What would you do? What language would you use? Would you flip them off? Would you curse at them? Would you yell at them? You would probably do all of those things, and you would probably define that person as the classic asshole. So, are you an asshole, or are you going to take the vaccine?